Alright, so in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to build this compactable or portable garden bed. I am building this for my uncle because he has this little garden area in his front yard and he wants me to build a planter box. So let's jump into it. So you need a 4x4, a lot of 1x4s, a drill, a dowel, and glue are all optional. Nails, a hammer, sandpaper, a tape measure, a pen or pencil, and a straight edge. You also need a chop saw and a table saw. This is going to be different for everyone, but my pillars are going to be 14 inches tall, so I'm just marking them and making a nice clean line with my speed square. Now I'm just marking out three more. Alright, so once you have all your lines marked out for your pillars, just want to cut them out. Alright, so once you have one pillar, you're going to need four for all four corners, so... Now that we have all four pillars, it's time to make the divots where the little fence parts or the one by fours will go. What I meant to say instead of divots is a slot. So what I'm gonna do is with the table saw, this is about half an inch right here. So I'm gonna set the table saw height to about half an inch and I'm gonna cut this out. This will allow us to fit a one by four to slide straight down into it. This is how the pillar will lock to the row one by fours. And I will do the same right here so you can get a tight corner. So to find the area that you want to cut out, first you want to find the center of the 2x4, which is marked by this larger tick, and then you want to add 3 eighths of an inch to each side, which will add up to 3 quarters of an inch, which is this, the same thickness as a 1x3, which will allow this to slip in right here and connect everything together. I'm now setting my table saw to the correct height and using my speed square to make sure the blade is perfectly straight. Alright, so once you set the blade to the proper height and when you start cutting, the blade will start cutting on the inside of that first line. Uh, you only have to measure out the center and find where to cut for only the first block. And to get the same cuts, I'm just going to tilt the block the same way and put it right here. And then to fill out the rest of this gap, you're slowly just going to move this fence over and over until everything is cleared out. And you'll do the same for the three other posts. Alright, so now that the first part is cut out, you're just going to move the fence over a little bit to get the next little piece. And you're going to keep moving that all the way over until you get right here. And you should be finished clearing these out. If you're still confused, uh, I'll show a clip afterward. So right here, my cut was a little bit too far to the right, and I left a very thin piece of wood down the center. So I'm just using a screwdriver to get it out, but you can also use a chisel. Moving on, I'm just continuing the cutting process for all the other pillars. Now, as you see, there are these slots, which are big enough to fit a 1x4 in between them. Now, as you can see, they look a little bit rough, so I'm just gonna take a chisel and just flatten all those out, and I'll do the same to all of them. Another alternative to get rid of these lines, if you don't have any chisels, is just to take a regular pencil and wrap it in sandpaper, and take this and just start going back and forth in the groove. It takes a little bit longer, but it works. Yeah, so as you can see, I chose to use sandpaper instead of chisels. All right, so once you have all your slots cut out in your 4x4s, it's time to make the walls that will go into these slots and hold everything together. So now to find how many 1x3s you need, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, find the width or length. You could start with either one, it doesn't matter. I'm going to start with the width. The width my uncle needs it to be is 34 inches. So you're going to subtract the width of the 4x4 and the indentation you made it for me it's about six inches i need 28 inches of one by threes stacked together so i need to cut about eight of these and they're gonna be 11 inches long hopefully that makes sense if it doesn't just wait and you'll see what i mean so i'm just marking on my lines and then i'm going to take it over to the chop saw and cut them out also, if you're wondering, I'm cutting my 1x4 11 inches on center. Once you have all your pieces, you just want to lay them out. And now you want to measure the length of them. And go about an inch in, so mine is about 27. You're going to want to cut that off on a scrap piece of wood and nail them all together on the back. So I got my scrap piece of wood cut out. I'm just gonna align these up and make them nice and straight. Fit roughly in the middle and hammer nails through the back so it connects everything together. And of course, I will make two of these or one more. All right, so once you're done nailing in the back, you can flip it over. 
and start the sanding process. And yes, I know I nailed these in wrong, but sanding should just buff them out. And then go over all the edges, make everything flush and trim, and just make one more. So I just gave it a light sanding with 120 grit sandpaper. Once I get all the other sides done, I'll grab the sand bow and thoroughly sand it even more to make it more smooth. Yep, so I'm just gonna make all the other sides. You kind of get the point, you just do the same to find the length of each other side. Here's a quick look. So this is what one of the sides look like, and of course, they'll have three more to make a complete square, but this is kind of what the finished product is gonna look like. All right, so I got the other side done. So now I'll show you guys how to do the longer side, or my longer side, it depends on uh, what the measurements are for yours. All right, so again, if you do the math, if you add up the total length, so mine's gonna be 43, you subtract six for four by four on the low indentation, so that's 37. I need about like 10 and a half of one by threes for the length, and each of them are gonna be 11 inches long, similar to the other ones that I just made. Make those, I'm gonna make two right now. Also, to clear up any confusions, at the beginning of the video when I stated you needed a drill, glue, and a dowel, those are materials used to make spikes that go into the pillars, so you can stick the pillars into dirt or sand or grass, whatever, just to keep them in place. But those are optional, you don't really need to add them. With one of my 1x4s that I cut off, I just took it over to my table saw and ripped it down the middle. So I just finished cutting all of this out and I measured it and I need a about 35 inches of a scrap piece to go back right here and connect everything. So I'm just going to use one of the, those two scrap pieces. I'll connect them, add it to the group, make the other one, sand, and then we're done. I just got the sander out. I just mounted it to my workbench and I'm just gonna go sand over everything. Now, sanding is optional, but this piece is gonna be left outside and it's gonna be open to the elements, so it's up to you what you wanna do. Also, I'm only sanding the top portion because the bottom portion is gonna be sticking down in the dirt and you're not gonna really be able to see it. So here's what it looks like when it's collapsed or when you're going to store it and within a few seconds you can set it up into a beautiful planner box. So yeah, here's the final product. Of course you put dirt and plants or whatever you want in it, but this is going to my uncle. Yep, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or if you have any video ideas, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.